one year ago, Supercast reported that Conor McGregor tried to make a woman and her friend get in his car. He tried to drag him into his car. And people just laughed it off and called her, you know, said the woman had tattoos and said she was, you know, a trashy woman, blamed it on the woman. It's always somebody else's fault. Conor McGregor, look, caused all this mayhem at Bellator. He give a shit. He give a shit about that man that's concussed right there, that fighter that's concussed. Conor McGregor does not care about other people. He does not have empathy for other people. And that's one thing that psychopaths have in common. They have no empathy for other people. And Conor McGregor is a self-centered piece of garbage. He's self-centered. It's all about Conor McGregor. He cares. He he don't care that he hurts Dee Evelyn. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Supercast has chron chronicled Conor McGregor's behavior. And super, you know, super subscribers have been warning the public, trying to protect the public from Conor McGregor. If you read the description to this video, you will understand what Supercast is about to talk, is fixing to talk about. Because this is a very serious subject and it may not be true. And that's why Supercast is not gonna, is not gonna report this as fact. But several Irish media outlets, several media organizations in Dublin, Ireland have reported that a famous Irish sports star committed a horrible crime. Whether, you know, Supercast is not verified because the police are still investigating Are still investigating. Read the read the read read the description. Read the description. At a hotel Sunday night at a hotel in Dublin, Ireland, between the hours of eleven thirty PM and three AM Something happened at a hotel. And that was on the 10th. Monday, on the 11th, Conor McGregor tweeted out, I'm not a monster. Now, what does that mean? Conor McGregor says he's not a monster. What's he talking about? What's kind of McGregor talking about when he says he's not a monster? See him hide behind his baby. See that? Like a weasel. Like a snake. Like a snake. He uses his baby and his old lady. Hide behind him like a snake. He's got a baby with another girl. With another woman. Look, this is the night before he attacked. Attacked those people in New York. He was with the don't give a shit gang. Those two brothers right there got 60 something criminal convictions. It's garbage. Read the description in this video. Supercash has been telling. Been telling you dick riders. Conor McGregor's going to prison. Conor McGregor is going to prison. He threw that energy drink. He didn't show up for the deposition. Instead, he went to New York and threw a hand truck through a window and injured people. 
Conor McGregor just got busted reckless driving. Got his they pulled his license for six months. They towed you know they towed three or four of his vehicles on his birthday. Conor McGregor got his ass knocked out. Got his ass you know Kabe beat his ass. Conor McGregor ran out of whiskey before you know before the holiday season. He's out of whiskey. The best time, you know, to sell whiskey is for, you know, Christmas, Irish people drink, drink their whiskey, you know, dick ride. It's a novelty item anyway. Real, real whiskey drinkers are not going to pay more money for Conor McGregor's whiskey. So he, he just lost. That whole whiskey business is just going straight down the toilet. They're not going to pay a real, somebody that drinks whiskey, whiskey is not going to pay 10, 15, 20 more dollars a bottle for a bottle of garbage when they just go buy a bottle of Jameson. See, the Archons are just tearing Conor McGregor's ass up. Conor McGregor, he fucked with so many people. He fucked with so many people and he got successful. He was successful because he fed the Archons. He fed the Archons. You see? But, but the Archons... Are of a reptile nature. They they don't. It's like a snake. They don't give a damn. They'll you know they'll feed off this person, that person, the person that's feeding them. They don't care. When they see that you know Conor McGregor is making those changes in Ireland, screwing up Ireland, screwing up the UFC, injuring people, you know, turning little kids to the to the bads to the, you know to the to bad, turning them on to bad words and bad habits and teaching them to be violent. Archons love that shit because they're going to feed off of those kids' fear when they do what kind of McGregor taught them when they get in trouble. And they're getting, in, you know, they're getting a spike in or getting grounded or getting arrested or getting their ass kicked or whatever. They're going to get in trouble for running their mouth and talking like Conor McGregor. Just mouthing off, you know, just talking, just... This garbage. What he, what he told Jose Aldo, he'd come down there and do this and that. He just, you know, told, told Khabib, you know, the shit he told him about committing homicide. Just garbage. He's going to prison. Read the description. Read the description. And if it's true, Conor McGregor's going to prison. Conor McGregor is going to prison and, you know, in prison, they got a special place. They put packer heads that do things, bad things, like in the description. They got a special place for, for people like Conor McGregor. They'll put him on the bottom level. They'll put him on the lower level. And, you know, Conor McGregor be wearing, the, you know, he'll be wearing bows in his hair. They'll pass Conor McGregor around like, you know, like a join at Ozzy concert. Every, every lifer in prison will know Conor McGregor very well. They'll treat Conor McGregor rudely. Conor McGregor will be treated rudely in prison. Because he's small, he's prissy, he's prissy, and he gives up. He always gives up and submits. Conor McGregor, he'll hold two fingers up. He don't give a shit. He's a coward. He'll just give up. He'll give in. <laughs> Conor McGregor's gonna, you know, he's gonna drop the soap. Call soap on a rope. Soap on the road. Conor McGregor has. Let's just hope it's not true. Let's just hope that Conor McGregor didn't do what's alleged in the description. Let's just hope he didn't do that. You know, for the victim's sake. For the victim's sake. You know, Conor McGregor's got all this money, and you'd think that the little bastard would just go buy an island somewhere, 
Just go buy a damn island and stay the fuck out of trouble. But no, he's not going to do it. He's not, you know, reckless driving, just got his license pulled. He gives a shit, assaulted that Russian fight, you know, that guy, that Russian just looking the other way, wasn't even paying attention. He wasn't studying Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor punched him in the face. Conor McGregor punched him in the face and you seen the guy's face. He had a black eye, his face was all jacked up because Conor McGregor hit him. Hit him while his, you know, his face was turned. He wasn't even giving a shit about Conor McGregor. That's what the Nevada Attorney General's talking about. Conor McGregor will be arrested if he returns to Nevada, but he's got problems in, in, in Dublin, Ireland. He's got bad problems between the hours of 11, 30 p.m. and 3 a.m. Something occurred, allegedly occurred, at a hotel in Dublin. And Conor McGregor is in deep shit, if it's true. Supercash is, you know, Supercash is not going to report this shit until, it, you know, it's absolutely 100% verified. At this point, it's innocent to proven guilty, but... The likelihood that Conor McGregor did something like that, it's a high likelihood that Conor McGregor, he has no empathy. Psychopaths, you know, you wonder how could somebody, you know, hurt, you know, hurt an innocent person? How could somebody hurt an innocent person? How can they do that? Well, it's because they don't have empathy. He doesn't care. He got on the, he got on the microphone and said, I regret the actions that led me here this, this, this day. He gives a shit. He didn't say he was sorry because he's not sorry. He's not sorry for what he did. He doesn't care that people have bad dreams. He don't give a shit. He don't care if he fucks up his kid's life and Dee Devlin's life. He don't care. He doesn't care that people, you know, he didn't care that he affected Rose name of Janus. He doesn't care. In Ireland, they won't air Conor McGregor's commercials because they say Conor McGregor's a bad influence on the youth in Dublin. Conor McGregor's considered garbage. It's considered garbage. They won't air his fucking commercials. But Dana White will promote the shit out of Conor McGregor, you know, to little kids. He promotes these fucking games to little kids. If Conor McGregor did... What is alleged that he did? Read the description. If Conor McGregor did that, if Conor McGregor did what's alleged in the description, there's going to be a whole lot of mamas and a whole lot of daddies that won't be buying EA Sports video games for their little kids. And it's going to be a lot of mamas and daddies if it's alleged what kind of, you know, if it's true, what's alleged kind of McGregor did. There's a whole lot of mamas and daddies that's going to walk right in there to the, you know, to their kid's room. They're going to pick up the video games that's got kind of McGregor on the front of them. And they're going to throw them in the garbage where they belong. In the garbage.